You're welcome to another episode of Fertility Talk with Ola Runke Tadios. And today's episode, I will be discussing fallopian tubes and issues with fallopian tubes or issues related with fallopian tubes. It's also very important for us to be familiar with our reproductive organs and to also know that all our reproductive organs work together um, to help us achieving pregnancy. And when there is an issue, with any of it, then, you know, um, it's, it poses difficulty in achieving pregnancy, okay? So a lot of women are affected with fallopian tubes issue, and um, this is why I am discussing fallopian tubes uh, today, okay? So what is fallopian tubes? The fallopian tubes are muscular tubes that are lined with delicate hair-like structures these hairs work in both directions one in helping the eggs to travel from the ovaries to the womb and two in helping the sperm to travel up from the womb so each fallopian tubes hand in fimbriae and um, fimbriae is like a finger-like structure like like this okay so the fimbriae what it does is so catch, it catches and guide an egg when the ovary releases the egg. The fallopian tubes play a major role in conception because they are where the eggs um, are fertilized. So imagine any issues with any part of the fallopian tubes, you know, it's, that's a disaster, you know, in quotes. If any part of the tube is damaged, maybe through because of surgery or because of infection, then it can block the tube and um, the tube might be blocked with, with scar tissues. Problem with fallopian tubes, they account for a lot of infertility issues, and most of it are as a result of scar tissues due to infections, past surgery done or disease, you know. When an egg is released, for instance, it travels from one fallopian tubes through the narrow ducts that connect the ovaries to the uterus. So normally the egg would join the sperm in the fallopian tube for conception to happen, for, for, for fertilization to, to happen. And you know, the fertilized egg will now continue to the uterus. However, the fallopian tubes are extremely fragile. If they are blocked, there is no way the eggs will become fertilized by the sperm. If the tubes are damaged or because of one issue to the other, there will be no way for the sperm to fertilize the egg. You know, all these are issues that occur when there is a damage, okay, with your fallopian tube. Also, other issues can affect fallopian tubes, diseases such as endometriosis, pelvic inflammatory diseases, infections, and even sexually transmitted diseases, they can, they can cause a blockage um, to your fallopian tubes. And you know, when the tubes are blocked, there's no way of getting pregnant naturally, okay? Talking about symptoms, the truth is that there is no symptoms, okay? Many a times, you need to undergo some tests to detect whether uh, your, your tubes are patent or whether they are blocked. Usually, you get to know if your tubes are blocked when you test, for instance, when you do HSG. Of course, some other women have presented with symptoms such as mild pain or sharp pain during their menstrual period. And, um, you know, but, you know, we can't really say a lot of things could have caused that as well. So that's why many a times there are no symptoms. You just need to run some, some of these tests to know if your tubes are okay. An atopic pregnancy may also cause symptoms that is usually detected during scan. However, some women may experience signs of pregnancy, such as stomach pain or one side of their body or even vaginal bleeding. Any woman who, however, suspects she has ectopic pregnancy should seek an immediate um, attention. So what are the possible causes of fallopian tube blockage? One is history of pelvic infection, if you've had pelvic infection before so it could be that that's the reason why your tubes are blocked then also a previous bust appendix also could cause that 
when you have sexually transmitted diseases such as gonorrhea okay it could also affect your your tubes um, endometriosis also if there is tissues all around blocking your tubes okay it could cause um, tubal blockage history of past surgeries if you've done abdominal surgery before and there is heart issue or hydrosapines endometriosis is another um, it could also cause you to have tubal blockage because it causes scar tissues to start growing um, outside your tubes and all that in, in all areas and all around and could cause um, blockage in your in your tubes okay if you have had history of past abdominal surgery like hydrosapines all these conditions can affect your tubes directly or other areas of your body in most cases these conditions or procedure creates scar tissues that block the tubes so how is getting pregnant like with tubal blockage to determine whether your tubes are blocked whether they are okay your doctor will suggest that you do a laparoscopy or a serosapigogram hsg in an hsg test a liquid dye is inserted by catheter through the vagina into your uterus then the x-ray are taken to see if there is blockage or if the dye flows freely into the abdomen. Another method of HSG can be done with ultrasound instead of the X-ray, and that uses um, saline and hair or, or foam. If you have problem with your fallopian tubes, your doctor definitely will recommend corrective measure or, you know, uh, it, um, they might decide to do a surgery for you to see if they can unblock the tubes. And uh, if that fails, then that means you have to consider assisted reproductive technology because this technology is the only method that bypasses the tubes to the uterus. Okay, so you might need to consider to have IVF done. I wouldn't be recommending IUI if you have a fallopian tubes because for IUI to work, that means that you need to have your tubes okay. Your tubes has to be opened and okay before your IUI can work. So I definitely be recommending IVF if you have tubal issues and you exploit other means to open it and it's not, um, it's not just working then please try and consider IVF on time, um, knowing fully well that you know you have other factors to contest with uh, if you don't take that decision on time, okay? I'm talking about age in particular, okay? So that would just be all about um, fallopian tube issue for this week, and I hope you enjoy the topic. Thank you for watching today's episode of Fertility Talk with Ola Runke Tadios. For more inquiries, please comment below and for consultation, kindly call the numbers showing on your screen. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and share our video if you like. And one more thing, please contact us for sponsorship as well. Thank you.